Don't go anywhere. You can ask questions, talk, or we can hear them talk, hopefully, whatever. Anyway, it really is my honor and privilege again to introduce you for the first time, Charles Plymouth. I've been here before, I think right around that corner, that corner, that corner. And uh, I think uh, I lived with one of my girlfriends here, and I met Taylor Lee here in 1961. He was <clears throat> driving a grocery car around on the boardwalk on the beach. And he had a transistor radio mounted to it. Uh, transistors were real big in those days. And so he, he was ahead of the curve on that. And that was before he was in Andy Warhol's movies. And our another old friend here uh, lived right around the corner. So I've been here before. And so it's, uh, I'm here, and I thank uh, all of you again. And I'm here, as the song goes, with a little help, my friend. Uh, Roxy's paying my way, and me and everyone's so, so gracious. And there's a, a gentleman here who was so generous. I've been in. <coughs> many wide and very uh, scenes in my life. I'm not part of the poetry establishment or anything like that. We've done a lot of things. And he said, well, I have two of this particular publication. And uh, I'll send it to you, and you have some spending money out here. <laughs> so I, I sent it to a collector in New York, and he said, yeah, I don't take the hell out of it. I'll give you 400 bucks for it. I still have 200, thanks to him. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, things are, things are getting very, very, very strange in the, in the world. Uh, look around you. The apocalypse has arrived in increments. Who starred in that movie Death and played the chronic blues? when untrust leaves began to flirt and fall and wayward carpets in the full moon. Snail paths veered to the west. A cameo of tree roots grown around a stone, helpless in secret form of unyielding mind. Creation lets us duplicate ourselves through the eons of blood and science, synchronized neon and dashboard lights in pirouettes of electric light. There's no way out of the brain. It's a natural walnut. Some blow it out. Others take up religions, drugs, the arts, and zip. Uh, not long ago, uh, 
good that the Dakota Hotel until he died. And uh, he was out on Montauk Beach. I saw him in a, a picture of him uh, in the New York Times uh, straddling a dead uh, carcass of some sort. Charles Henry Ford's last print. Atlas on this star-studded Montauk beach, bleached night of dead cartilage, rotting, haunting puzzles to their last core, straddled night's space glazed with numbered stars, each to each pebble on the shore. If you stand and throw your great knife and cut an imaginary line through the night sky. It is said that space is so vast that no star would be hit. Surrealism's magic master, Beachcomber, leaves lines like Spider-Man spit on the skyscrapers, Gotham's duo, Batman, Robin, and the rest, where Montauk descendants sell tobacco. Leave your signals for a physicist to predict, a keyboard specialist to plunder the growing of algebraic garden of poppies, not having heard such names, Tom Lee or Charles Henry, who before computers had seen the fractal patterns curl back upon themselves as clean and easy as a cut through space a thread in a Persian rug or a seahorse dance in pride from deep ocean's ridge. The course in lives, in the dance, in the footprints, or in thy throne of worlds, the gnomon Osiris sits upon myth and geometry, meat in the mouth and in the maw, or in the carcass washed ashore whereupon he sits in quick poppy's charm, in the kitchen's lost creations, raw food, in the saloon now gone, no more, fine blades slicing symmetry of the sea, or chopping herbs, latex oozing from the night like a field of mil milky ways, frozen eternal footsteps above 72nd Avenue, 72nd Street, the space, Time sung anew like the canaries do, and bebop too, to save their memories, wait for flight. Period. 